Hi guys, Mulos here. So today's video, I am going to send a payment using the My Safaricom app, basically an M-Pesa to M-Pesa payment from this app. And I am currently roaming in Zambia. I live in Zambia, just went to Kenya for a few days, got the uh, M-Pesa for making my usual payments. Now I just need to confirm how much I'm sending. So I'm supposed to make a payment of $50, which is coming to about 5820 basically 5,800 shillings basically so let me come back to the my safaricom app so the thing is that i didn't set up the mpesa app on the correct phone when i was in kenya so when i got back i signed out of this one and then tried to set on the other phone and because i'm roaming it doesn't allow i set up my MP my safaricom app while i was still in kenya and i never logged off so uh, I'm still able to use that. I can also use the USSD, but I really hate USSD for everything. So I'm just going to go to my Safaricom app and I am going to come here to send money. I'm going to put in the phone number. So I'm going to pick the recipient. I can search the name, pick the recipient, the amount 5,800. Um, so this is a very, very interesting uh, tool about uh, the My Mpesa app which we don't see in Zambia, you can add the withdrawal charge. So in Zambia, it's something which is really, really brings a lot of issues where if you're sending money to somebody for a commercial payment and um, they want you to add the withdrawal fee, you all have to start doing guesstimates or trying to remember what the withdrawal fee is. In Kenya, you can actually add the withdrawal fee. So in this case, I think I'll add the withdrawal fee just in case he needs to withdraw the cash. The other thing here is you can send to other networks. I have sent from the My M-Pesa app to uh, my Airtel money. This is not there in the M-Pesa app, but in the Safaricom app, you can send to other networks. So I'm going to click on continue. It's going to bring in the recipient's name so that I can confirm the amount I'm sending, 5,800 plus the 84 shilling uh, fee and uh, the transaction cost will be 75. So I'm going to send. So here it's done, I've sent to the recipient. The amount is 5,884 shillings. Transaction cost was 75 shillings. Transaction ID, date and time, and um, that's it. Now let me go to the other phone. Okay, so coming to the other phone, I am going to come here to this message which I've received from M-Pesa. So opening it, um, there's something very, very interesting about, uh, I'm assuming the Kenyans don't like mental arithmetic, the way we are forced or subjected to in Zambia. So in Zambia, all the mobile networks, they do have uh, transaction limits, like 20,000 kwacha in a day uh, for MTN, uh, 10,000 kwacha in a day for Zamtel money. Um, about 20,000 kwacha for Airtel money or 50,000 if you are the upgraded Airtel money. So you always have to do quite a bit of mental arithmetic if you transact a lot to know that you are about to exceed the limit or you're still within the limit. Now in Kenya here it confirms what I've sent, my what my balance is, the transaction cost uh, and it has this very very interesting feature here where it tells you you can transact within the day 294,116 Kenyan shillings. Okay, so the daily transaction limit on M-Pesa is 300,000 Kenyan shillings, which is about $2,575 or 44,000 kwacha. So in Zambia, the transact daily transaction limit is uh, 20,000 kwacha, which is about $1,166 or 135,858 uh kenyan shillings so i think the kenyans are way ahead of us on transaction limits theirs actually makes more sense then also one other thing to note is that the maximum per transaction you can do is 150,000 kenyan shillings so you can do 300,000 kenyan shillings in a day but the maximum is 150,000 per transaction so this is this is practically still higher than the maximum daily limit on a zambian mobile money account anyway it's just my observations on this let me know in the comment section what you think of uh, all these platforms and i shall see you in the next video Mulos, bye